Welcome back to another edition of Cover One, the Film Room. Today, I want to break down Trey White's interception versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, it sealed the game for the Bills, and it was the play that the defense needed to, you know, get the win at Arrowhead Stadium. So, on the play prior to this, the Bills showed this similar look. All right, and it's a three-three-five defense. So you have three down linemen. Well, you have linebacker Lorenzo Alexander here, linebacker Matt Milano here, and Preston Brown right here uh, to the field. So it's a three-three-five look. Five defensive backs, three down linemen. And on the prior play, the Bills actually played a soft cover two, and they had Lorenzo Alexander drop as a rat defender into the underneath zone. And this usually is done uh, when you want to play a soft cover two, um, and it allows Preston Brown to not have to worry about any type of check down from a running back so he can gain depth to take away any of those deep intermediate routes or, or routes that may go over 15 to 20 yards, which – with the speed that the Chiefs have on offense and the weapons they have is, uh, is likely on any given play. But on this play, what they do is they rush Alexander, they rush Lawson, they rush Thornton, and they rush Hughes. So they bring four rushers, and they do a really good job of disguising this coverage pre- to post-snap. So let's go over that. So pre-snap, Alex Smith is seeing a two-high shell. He's got Hoyer and high deep. And he has soft coverage from these corners. So it looks like they're playing some sort of cover two, very similar to the play that they did uh, prior to this. So prior to the snap, you have that cover two look. And we'll take a look at some of the routes from the receivers. So to the bottom of the screen, you're going to have a corner route. The number one wide receiver is going to be running an in route. To the top of the screen, you have a three-man route combination. The number one hill is going to be doing a deep comeback. Kelsey's doing a quick slant, and then you're going to have a swing route or flare route by the running back. Post-snap, the Bills change the coverage. What they do is they run and drop into a cover three buzz look, which is just a cover three single high look. So Hyde is dropping to the deep center. You're going to see Poyer drop down towards the marker into the hole between both linebackers. You're going to have White to the top of the screen as the deep third, and Milano is just going to squeeze into the flats and to take that running back in the flats. Preston Brown has hooked the curl area. Leonard Johnson has the flats, but because no one's really shown to the flats, he's going to kind of squeeze these two routes. And of course, EJ Gaines has his deep third. So uh, it's a basic cover three buzz look and Smith reads it, but doesn't execute the play. So let's take a look at what happens from beginning to end on the snap. Again, defense drops into cover three buzz and you'll see Alex Smith is reading left to right. He's scanning left to right and takes a snap and he's finding the safeties. And in his line of view, he also has a linebacker. So that kind of gives him a good idea on what kind of coverage they're playing uh, on the, on the back end because Hyde drops to the deep middle. So knowing that the defense is in cover three, look, he has one-on-one -on -one for the deep comeback with Tyreek Hill versus Tredavious White but he blows by Travis Kelsey, who is wide open on the quick slant. And this could have been a sight adjustment by Kelsey because watch how he reads this. As soon as he clears that disruption from Milano, as Milano screams to the flats, he's looking at Preston Brown. He sees Preston Brown is not anywhere near the marker to get the first down. And with Poyer playing so far deep and having to come such a long way down to fill this hole. Kelsey is open immediately. But again, Smith just blows by him. Instead goes for the one-on-one -on -one coverage, which again is not the wrong read. But Tredavious White just does a good job of reading this route. And let's uh, analyze it from that perspective. So prior to the snap, you're going to see White start to bail into a soft coverage. As Tyreek is in his drive phase of his route, you'll see White, he's playing right around the sticks, just a couple of yards past it, and he'll, you'll see Tyreek Hill start to throttle down. Now, as he's throttling down, White is in outside leverage, so he's playing the outside half of the man, all right, knowing that Poyer is going to drop down into this hole. So he's playing outside leverage, and that outside leverage and that bail technique, that shuffle technique, that Nick Saban shuffle technique, it allows White to keep the receiver in his peripheral vision along with the depth of the drop of the quarterback. So as Smith hits the top of his drop, points his shoulder 
to throw the ball to Hill. White is able to plant as soon as Hill is throttling down. You'll see him plant right here and drive on the ball. And the ball is thrown to the boundary shoulder of Hill for a reason because Smith knows that Poyer's dropping down into this hole. He wants to keep it on the outside shoulder of this curl so that Poyer can't make a play on the inside shoulder. All right. So he doesn't want to throw it to this inside shoulder. He makes the right read and makes the right throw, but it is just not executed to the level or degree that he needed it to be. And White is able to break on the ball and just make an easy snag of the interception and takes it 63 yards in the opposite direction. And it seals the game for the Buffalo Bills. So let's take a look at it from the broadcast angle. Situation is rushing three, dropping eight. Throw it to the right, intercepted. Picked off by Buffalo. Back up the sideline. Tredavious White, the rookie, still on his feet. To the 10. And that'll seal it for Buffalo.